Yeah, and, and yeah. I mean, it makes me wonder, right. well, looking at some of the biggest leaders in human history, to ask the question of wh what was the motivation? What was the motivation for even just the revolutionaries like Lenin, Trotsky, mm -hmm. and Stalin? What was the motivation? Because it sure as hell seems like the motivation was at least in part the driven by the idea by ideas not self interest of like power for lenin it was i think he was a true believer and, a, and an actual narcissist who thought he was the only one who could do it stalin i do think just wanted power and realized well i don't know look he wrote very passionately when he was young and he um, was he you know, really believed in communism in the beginning he did i i i'm always what i'm always fascinated is i'm like around 1920 what happened right post revolution you crush the whites now it's all about consolidation that's where the games really begin yeah. um and then i'm like i don't think that was about communism <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah maybe it became a useful propaganda tool but it still seemed like he believed in it uh whether it was of course this is the question i mean I, this is a problem with, with uh conspiracy theories for me and this is legitimate criticism towards me about conspiracy theories, which is, uh, you know, just because you're not like this doesn't mean others aren't like this. So like, mm -hmm. I can't believe that somebody be like deeply two-faced. Oh, I've met them. You're welcome to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think that I would be able to detect. I like, don't think so. No. Good, well, this, my question is- I've can, seen it. I mean, you know, Well, so there's yeah. difference. There's, there's two-faced like, uh, there's different levels of Two Face. Like yeah. what I mean is to be killing people, and uh, it's like House of Cards style, right? Mm -hmm. And and still present a front like you're, you're like you're not killing people. Yeah. I don't know if it's, I guess it's possible, but I just don't see that at scale. Uh, like there's a lot of people like that, and I don't. I have trouble imagining um, some. You know, that's such a compelling narrative that people like to say, like people, that's the conspiratorial mindset. I think that skepticism is really powerful and important to have because it's true. A lot of powerful people abuse their power, but saying that about, I feel like people over assume that. It's like, I see that with uh, use of steroids often in sports. Yeah. People seem to make that claim about like everybody who's successful. Right. And I want to be very, I don't know. Something about me wants to be cautious because uh, I want to give people a chance. Being purely cynical isn't helpful. People say right. this about me. He's only saying this to do this. Yeah. But at the same time, being naively yeah. optimistic about everything is also uh, counterproductive because exactly. people are going to fuck you over. And more importantly, that doesn't bother me. More importantly, you're not going to be able to reason about how to create systems that are going to be robust to corruption, to uh, m malevolent, uh, like, parties so mm -hmm. so you, in order to create yeah you, you have to have a healthy balance of both i suppose especially if you want to actually engineer things that 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 work in this world that has evil in it right i can't believe there's a book of hitler on, on the desk <laughs> um